Have you spent hours writing in journals only to forget which one that you left that really cool quote from six months ago? Or how about one that you wrote in about your amazing vacation six years ago? Well, I have filled dozens of these and I've always found it impossible to find specific entries because they're handwritten and you can't search handwritten journals, right? Well, wrong, because I have found a game-changing trick that will help you do it. And you don't need a special pen that costs a lot of money. You don't need special notebooks for that special pen. You don't need expensive OCR software that has like subscriptions. Nope, this is free as long as you have a smartphone. It uses AI, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it including the prompts that I use to get perfect results every time. Yes, I love gadgets and tech, but there's still something special about writing journal entries by hand, at least for me. I like the feel of the pen on the paper. I like doodling in the margins with my favorite markers and gel pens. I like using stickers every now and then. But there's a problem. Once those thoughts are on paper, they're basically locked away. That's where AI comes in. Using tools like ChatGPT, we can transform these handwritten pages into digital text that we can search instantly. And here's exactly how I do it. Step one, grab your smartphone. iPhone or Android, it does not matter. Just open the camera app and take a picture of one page in your journal. Try to line it up so that it's just one page. Step two, open up the ChatGPT app either on your smartphone or even on your desktop. And you don't need chat GPT plus. You don't need the paid version. You can use the free version and upload the picture that you just took with your smartphone. So you can see that I've switched over to desktop. I just find it a little bit easier to work than on my phone. And, I, and it might be easier for you to see that on the video too. So I'm going to upload the image that I took from my phone right now. You can see that it's uploading. Okay, and I have copied my prompt into my clipboard, and I'm going to paste that in. So this is the prompt. I need to fix it a little bit here. And you can see that it's a pretty lengthy prompt because I have it matched to how I set up my journal pages. And now I am going to run the prompt, and we have to wait a few seconds for it to do what it needs to do. Let's see, let's scroll down here. Okay, it's working now. And again, this is on the free version of ChatGPT. Uh, I will say that you can only upload, I think like four images a day. So, you know, that's a problem. But once you get this dialed in, I mean, you're, you would probably just be doing the previous day's journal entry anyway. So here are the results. Uh, in my prompt, I asked it to give a, a title for the page based on what I wrote about. And so today it's saying that it was a cool and productive day. It reads what I, my little icon, it interprets it for the weather. So I draw like the clouds in the sun or I draw the rain and I have a pro the prompt set so that it will uh, tell me what the weather is based on the little icon that I drew myself. And then it goes into what I wrote happened during that day, including any quotes that I might have put on the page. And then it even goes as far as talking about the artwork or if I had stickers on the page, it tells me what they are. So it makes it easy for me to go find like some doodle that I did months ago. If I can remember what the doodle was, then I can search on it using keywords because this is just text here, right? Um, it also converts the, the water that I drank during the day and my meals. And then I also have it put the tasks that I did. And if I uh, finish the tasks, which I put an X in the box on my journal page, it puts a check mark. And if I didn't finish the task, it puts like a little arrow pointing to the right, which is my own way of doing things. So you can see that, you know, I've kind of got a weird combination of cursive and printing. It's just my style of writing. And ChatGPT can interpret that. So it's pretty cool. So let's try another example.
with some stickers on the page. Okay, so I'm going to upload another picture. And here's the picture that I'm uploading of a previous journal page of mine. And now I'm going to tell ChatGPT to run the same prompt. Run the same prompt on this new image. And let's see what it ends up with. And you can see that it put a picture of the uh, image. And now it's giving me the outcome. So it gave it a title. This is when I was on vacation last year on Minnesota Key. And it's talking about hunting shark teeth. And let's see what it says for the stickers. I've got two stickers on this page. It says a small sea, a small red seashell sticker is placed in the middle of the page. Okay, so it's it, it goes into a little more detail than I like. You can see that it says it adds a beachy touch to the entry. And then on the right side, there's a sticker of an ice cream cone with a scoop of blue and brown ice cream topped with a cherry. So, I mean, this really goes into a lot of detail, and it's really, it's pretty exciting for me. I, I guess I'm just a, a nerd here. I mean, this is really cool. Now, I do see an, a problem here. I, I wrote down my spending for the day, and it's converted it into pounds instead of U.S. dollars, probably because my dollar sign looks pretty terrible. So it's important to try to write at least legible. I mean, you can see that my handwriting is not very good, but it's able to convert it into digital text. So if you have concerns about uploading the pictures from your journal to ChatGPT, there are settings in both the mobile and desktop app that will tell ChatGPT not to use the, the photos and the results to train their LLM model. Once you have a digital version of your journal pages, what can you do with it? Well, you can paste it into your favorite note-taking app. You could paste it into a plain old text file. What I like to do is I put it in day one. That's where I paste my entries. And I love the day one journaling app because I can use it on my iPhone, my iPad, my MacBook. You can use it on Android. And you can even print your journal entries into physical books. And if you want to know more about that, you need to watch this next video.